I started Nourish, my last business, really grew out of a need I had with my child when he was a baby. So I was starting a business while my child was an infant. I've subsequently started another business, you know, sort of in his late elementary years. And I often hear people say that you you just can't do that, right? You either focus on your business and you miss the first years of your child's life, or you focus on your child and you got to wait and start a business later. Um, I actually totally disagree. And I think part of it is we as, as founders and the ecosystem we live in, we think it's impressive to kill yourself working on your business. And we've caused ourselves to believe that I either have to be 24 hours a day on my business and not see that my child went from you know, infant to age three, or we have to put the business off. I did both. And it worked great. But part of it was not being subconscious. It's okay. My investors really do not expect me to be working on this 24 hours a day. If they do, then they're not the right investor. Because let's be honest, no human being can do that and perform at a high level. You have to have time away. You have to. My best ideas for the company came when I was on the playground with my child. Your best ideas don't happen in a board meeting. Your best ideas don't happen in a management meeting. And they don't happen in a brainstorming session. They happen when you are nowhere near your office. But I think our culture says that if you don't put all that time in, you're not committed. And I think that's wrong. 